Okay, primarily it's called a swing arm clicker press because of the action of the upper arm here. You're able to swing it out of the way. Uh, you cut by pushing down two buttons, swing it out of the way, pick up your pieces, and repeat the process. So, uh, normally, well, there's a lot of different ways. You can put your product there and use a die that's acrylic back. This one's wood back, so you can't see through it, but they make dies that are acrylic back. You can see through it. You put your material there, and then you put your die down and position it. They also make open face dies, primarily for textile, uh, things of that nature and there's nothing in them. They are you, primarily for leather. We see a lot of this where you're cutting uh, shoes or holsters or belts or uh, pieces out of leather and you're looking at the grain of the leather and trying to get as many out as possible and then also use the right grain. So in this situation we're using uh, a die with registration pins. So uh, you put your material down as so. This has already been cut out. Take a piece right here. So you lay your product there and then a board so that you're not cutting up into the metal. And we'll start it up now so you can hear how it sounds. It's not a real noisy machine at all. Actually, it's fairly quiet. And then, yeah, I try and bring this down to where I'm at about a quarter and I back my gauge off. Every die has a different density requirement. Every material that you're cutting is different, different in density and to require different amounts of pressure going up and down. If you don't back off and, and bring it into position uh, correctly, what you're going to end up doing is pushing the die and the metal rule clear up into your board. It's not good for your board or your die. So you can see if I back, bring this off all the way and I'm pushing both buttons, that's all it's doing. Getting a little green light blink, nothing else. Going down a little bit little more okay so we actually cut there and there's our product so take that out pick up our product so same thing and our settings right right there okay whoops and again it's all your product so, the use is really elementary, there's not a lot uh, that can go wrong with these machines. It's a single hydraulic ram up and through the center, basically the whole machine is built around that ram. And while a lot can't go wrong with a ram, uh, old wore out machines that might be for sale online, uh, if you do have to do anything with that ram, uh, more often than not you'll find it'll cost as much as the entire machine. All of our machines have a full year warranty and uh, all the service and parts and technical support that you need uh, right in Riverside, California. We usually always have the 10 tons and the 25 ton swing arm presses in stock and we've got a ton of them out in the market. If you have any questions or would like to speak to anybody that has a machine, give us a holler and we'll be happy to give you some uh, people to call. So if we can help you with the machine, give us a call. Thank you.